Superman of science And he loves to play with fire And the things you do You can do If you so desire Do try this at home With Mr. G Hello and welcome back to Do Try This at Home This is the show that takes Ordinary household items And turns them into something extraordinary I'm your host, Mr. G, and today, well, today we're going to be doing the, the most simple episode of Do Try This at Home ever. You need two things, a cup of coffee, well, you don't really need a cup of coffee, I just thought I'd throw that in there, and you need an iPhone. This is really all you need, an iPhone. You want to place your iPhone in camera mode. Now, you're saying, I don't have an iPhone. Everybody knows someone who has an iPhone, so if you don't have one yourself, Borrow your friends or call them up and say, you got to watch this episode of Do Try This at Home and try this thing with your iPhone. It's pretty crazy. What we're going to do today is we're going to take advantage of a, of a property, basically, that the iPhone camera has or, or some way that the iPhone camera works, which is that it uses a rolling shutter. Now, a rolling shutter works a lot like a scanner. It scans the picture a line at a time. Now, this is great if you basically hold the camera perfectly still when you take a picture. But if you actually are moving the camera, you don't actually end up with a blurry picture. This can work to your advantage. You end up with a bendy picture. And if you're in lower lighting, you can also end up with a picture that has part of it in focus and part of it out of focus. Now, if you play around with this particular feature of this camera, or this particular property that the camera and the iPhone has, you will get some amazing results. And I'm gonna show you some of those results coming up right here. Let me show you how this is done first. First, I'll take a couple indoor shots, and then we'll move outside, because larger objects and brighter light tend to bend better. Just take your iPhone and get it moving in sort of a swaying motion. And don't try to see it in the lens, just try to time it, and then click a picture. Now, you do that, and you're gonna end up with some kind of really bizarre result. In this particular result, we have ended up with a picture that, let me see if I can show this to you, that the very center of the picture is in focus and the rest of the picture is out of focus. So this was sort of like a spinny picture, a picture that, that looks like it's, whoops, as I bumped the camera, that looks like some of it's in focus and some of it's out of focus. All right, we're out in my backyard. Let me pan around it for you here. So you get an idea what it looks like. And um, what I'll do is I'll take a picture from up here on the deck of um, the columns here on the deck or these posts. And you'll see how they are bent when, they, when they're shown in the picture. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you some other pictures that I took in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. That's right, Cleveland, Ohio. All right, here we go. Yeah, excellent. Let's do another one of these. Fantastic. Let's try again. Okay, to give you an idea of what I've just done, and I'll put these up on the uh, actual video as well, here you go. Let's give you an idea how these look. Now, uh, if you really play around, you can really do this a lot better than I just did it. There, look at that post, how it's bent. Even though the picture's up, upside down, um, look at that one. See how the post looks like it's bent? Kind of cool, huh? Okay, well, let me get up the uh, pictures that I've already taken, and I'll get those posted up at the end of the video here, and that'll be it. I told you it was a simple video, all you need is an iPhone. Do try this at home.
So we're in camera mode. As you can see. Pretty crazy. Okay. I wonder how that came out. Maybe I should not do that. Maybe that was a little too crazy. Okay, we're gonna start this again. This is for all you iPhone iPhoneies out there. Um, base has got some very special quality, and the quality of the camera is that, or a very special, I should say, property. Not really a very special quality, very special property. Uh, and I'll start that again. Let's start that over. 